remember her. She was a, she was always talking about how she slipped. I can relate to her. You got that right? Because that's exactly where I stand. Because I stand out by the grace of God. I need all of his tender mercy. I'm washed by the blood of the lamb. And I need that. And whenever I take that stand, I don't try to put myself in a particular particular realm, in a particular place. And the Lord God says, in order to go high, you go low anyway. That's right. My God. So that if you want to go high, why don't you get low? My God. So I want you to understand that this, I said all that to let you know, this Seraphonician woman was not the type of woman that, 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 that would get the attention. She wasn't a Jewish woman. Amen. She was already not their kind. All right, God. You ever been not their kind? Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She not that not that kind. I'm, I'm gonna be good, Lord. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say she wasn't that kind. You know what I'm talking about? She just it was not. You know, mm. She wasn't in the clique. You know. Mm. You ever been not in the clique? Mm. You know, work right where you need to be. You know, everybody's like, huh? No, you're the one that's like, why is she here? <laughs> You ever been right there? I'm saying that because there's somebody, it may not be you, but there, I guarantee you there's somebody who's listening. There's somebody who is needing the Lord God and saying, you know what, I felt that way. Well, I was not ever just welcome. Even when I came to the church, I felt a little funny. But the Lord God said, I'm breaking that off of you today in the name of Jesus because now I'm leveling the playing field. Because the Lord God said, he's no respect of a person. He said, those that come to me and just come to me with an with a open heart. He said, I can do wonders with them. I'm calling for the outcasts and the rejects. Yeah. My God, thank you, Lord. And this woman was that type of woman. She was that way and she had an issue. Her daughter was demon possessed. I'm going to tell you that. And whenever she is, I mentioned before, when she got ready to do that, make a petition to the Lord God, they were saying, Lord God, the disciple, why is she following us? And if you thought that was something, look what the Lord tells the woman. I mean, I, 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 I go back and forth, and I was like, Lord, you hurt that woman heart. Because the scripture says, when, in verse number 24, but he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, if that wasn't one thing or another that she felt like she wasn't right, he point blank told and said, you know, I didn't come for you. Can you ever, you know, yeah. Isn't that a hard word? I, I'm telling you, that's a hard word right there. And what I got when the Lord God was ministering to that is that, you know what, it, it may be that times that you're coming to the Lord God, but you know what, you can't stop. It's only a test. Yeah. And Lord God was testing her. It wasn't a matter that he didn't love her. He wanted to say, how bad do you want it? You know what, something, I'm just going on record. You know when you want things bad enough, you keep praying for it, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> and she had just prayed one time. Oh, man, I'm talking to her, I'm just going to my house. You know, apparently, you didn't need it that bad. But you know what, she's like, mm. She's the one like she didn't even hear, mm, Lord. <laughs> that, that's, what, that's the way you have to be. Whenever God's given you something, and, you, and the thing about it, she knew within herself that God was able to do it. That's a nugget that everybody needs to get. Whenever you bring your prayer to God, you know you brought it to somebody who can't do something. That's the last thing I want to do is bring my prayer to somebody who can't do nothing for me. Oh, my God. You talk about disappointment. Uh, uh, you bring it to me, and they're like, oh, well, yeah, oh, okay. And, but you know what? Whenever she brought that to the Lord God, she knew she didn't have anybody to score. She knew within herself, this is the Messiah. If anybody can work this out for me, he can. Yes, Somebody needs to sit up here in this house and say, if anybody can work this thing out, what you're going, I don't know what you're going through and you don't know what I'm going through, but I guarantee you, if you're sitting in here and you're like, I'm going to bring this to the Lord. Yes, indeed. Because I know he's able to do something that nobody else can do. And surely enough, the Lord God, it was, he was testing her. And you don't think the Lord, yeah, it was a test, people of God. It was a test to, to, to see if you're going to find out, or you're going to really keep at it. Because I want you to know there are times that we're going to be coming up things, coming up against some things, some obstacles. And will you persist in prayer? Or will you let that stop you? Mm, my Lord, that's a single moment right there. Will you let that stop you? They got a lot of that's that's stopping us. The Lord got saying that's not that. No, you don't need to be quitting right now. You need to continue on because she cried out. And the Lord God told her, I wasn't called for you. And then look at the word of the Lord God says. Then she came and she worshiped him saying, help, Lord, help me. Anybody had a help me prayer before? Yes. I want you to know that's the most powerful prayer you can pray. Help me. You ever been crying when you can't get no words out? And you, you have in your mind what you want to tell God, but they don't come out your mouth. You ever been that way? Where you just like, my, 
It's so much and you, you don't know. And you just, Lord, help me. Can you, can you imagine? Can you see that daughter there? Can you see that woman in a desperate situation? Can you see her crying out for her daughter? That's her baby. And her mother loves her child. Come on now. And the daughter is going through. Can you imagine seeing your, seeing your seed go through a lot of trouble? Yes. Oh my God. Seeing your child go through something that, that you're like, Lord God, I want to help them. But I don't know what to do. I went to the doctor. They can't help me. I went to the doctor. They can't help me. You ever prayed that prayer? You ever been in a place where you're so much believing God that you're like, Lord God, I need someone to intervene for me. Yes, Lord. I need a prayer warrior. I need an intercessor. I need someone to stand in the gap for me. I need someone to really pray for my daughter. Don't talk about my daughter. Come on here. Come on here. Come on, come on here. Come on here. Come on, come on, you know what I'm talking about. I don't need somebody who's going to talk and just say, you know, well, you know what, if they would, they would do this and that. You know what, I don't need all that. Yes. I don't need all I just need, I'm praying. Yes. That's all I need. That's all I need. And it seems simple, but that's powerful. And I'm saying that because nowadays it sounds like, you know, that's still such an easy thing to do. But I'm going to tell you, I'm still looking for individuals to just pray. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear. I, 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 uh, uh, I want to hear that. Can I just get you to pray? Yes. I don't want to talk because I've already heard about the situation already. I, Amen. Because when you heard about something, the last thing you want to do is talk more about it. Yes. But if you can just get somebody to say, you know what? Let's just pray. Yes. I mean, it's right there. You, you can't even get the words out there. You're quivering right here. And you're like, Lord God, if it, and the only thing you can get out is help me. <laughs> My God, I've been there before where I couldn't say anything. I couldn't go left, couldn't go right. But I needed the Lord God to help me. That's where this woman's standing. And I know she's not the only one. She was standing back there, but they got some souls that are in here today. They got somebody watching. You can't talk about it with anybody else, but you're standing there. You're sitting there, even watching it. Lord, help me. Mm. Oh, help me, Lord. Jesus. Help me, Lord, come. Through this situation that I got to go through. Yes. Through this thing. She didn't stop right there. And so I want you to know whenever you're petitioning and praying and calling out to the Lord God and you don't get an answer, you continue to pray. You don't continue. You don't just stop there. You continue to pray. It goes even deeper, y'all. And you're thinking, my God, not just one, but he goes even further. And he says, look at verse 26. Oh, yeah, we're going we to eat this up. This is why we come here to eat up the word. We come to study and find out and hear what the voice of the Lord God is saying. Now, Lord God says in verse number 26, but he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. My God. Oh, uh, that was another blow. I said, my God, he's calling her a dog. He's calling her a little dog. But do you realize he was trying to let her know that, you know, I wasn't called for you. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't called for you. You know, come on now. Mm -hmm. You, you mm -hmm. must understand mm -hmm. that people of God, we weren't born saved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Come on. We got grafted into the family. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord God that, you know, that every promise, it wasn't, we were a privilege to have it. But thank God for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That he paid the price yeah. because you, whatever he got, we can have. Like, hey. Amen. You know, when now we're joint heir with Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what he yeah. was trying to tell them, you know, yeah. you're not a part of this. He's trying to let them know that I'm called for a particular people. But that he was saying that once again, testing her. Mm -hmm. Let's see how she's going to do. I even call it the little dogs. The little dogs. That means you know. And look at her response. You yes. see, you got to know how to, when you have great faith, tell your neighbor great faith. Great faith. Great faith. Tell your neighbor about great faith. Great faith. When you have great uh -huh. faith, your, 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 when you have great faith, your word will come. Your response is quick. Yes. And that thing, I love that. I, I, you know what? I believe she marveled the Lord God too. Because look what she said. She said, yay, Lord. But even the little dogs, even the crumbs would fall from the master's table. That's right. Well, I'm here to tell you, I would have been just like, well, I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Can you think about it? Because the Lord God said, I didn't come for you. And he said that the little dogs. But she said, wait a minute, Lord. If I may humble myself and tell you that the source, she was letting them know, even though the invitation wasn't for me to sit to the table, but even the crumbs that fall underneath the table, are they not for me too? Yeah. 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 I'm here to tell you that that, that yeah. right there. Look at this. Yeah. And that's why the Lord got led me to that passage, passage right there. Because whenever he heard that, Jesus answered her and said, woman, great is your faith. My God, the Lord God calls 
someone who was mostly considered not to be a part and called her great faith. Because he called her, uh, you know, they said it wasn't for her. More or less he said, you know, I didn't come to bring it to her. And as the little dogs. But she still kept persisting and saying, you know what, Lord God, I'm still going to get my blessing. Yeah, yeah. I want you to know that you need to have great faith to say, you know, whatever, uh, you know, no, I'm breaking the law. I want it to be abnormal. If I got to go underneath the table to get it, hey. come on now. If, uh, you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine someone eating? We, got, we know what dinner tables look like. Talk to me. Yeah. You know when your crumbs fall underneath the table, you have a little pet. If you have a pet, then you know what I'm talking about. Them thing that, right there to pick it up. Am I right about it? Can you see yourself being mm. a little pet? Mm. That no matter what, you look at it and you're like, oh my God. Mm. You know that, you know, you got a little pet in the house, a dog, cat, whatever, and it's sitting, you eating a full course meal, they're like, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> they up there. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me now. I know what I'm talking about. They sitting up there looking up and making a, you know, they're making a, and you up there licking your fingers and all the, and sitting around you, ah, oh, and it's coming cool, and they're just like, you know, and they're just waiting for you to drop something. Uh -huh. Am I right? Oh, yeah. uh -huh. This is real. You better get it right now. You're waiting for something. You know, you can. I'll tell you what. Just let them drop that drums and let them drop it. Hey. That thing that that pet looking so hard. If she dropped that, it's gone. My God. Don't matter. Bread in it, look. And the moment some fuck. That's it. They're right on it. The Lord God says, I'm talking to you. I see, great faith says, I don't care how the blessing comes. Come on. You know what? I don't care. I'm not going to be so oh, here. Oh, I ain't going to get. <laughs> you better get. I'm a, yes, it is. I'm a what? I said, I'm a crumb snatcher. You better get. I'm going to get. Because if God's going to say new for you in 20, if he said, if it falls down, yeah, and you go, oh, no, you're too, oh, no, you're too pretty for that. Oh, I'm no, no, that's not far. That's not what we mean. Whenever the Lord God has said, whenever God said he's doing something unusual, I'm saying that because some of you are looking for your blessing to be spread out on the table. All right. And sometimes it may, but what if it doesn't? Mm. What if it does not get laid before you like a buffet? What if it Ooh. doesn't? What if it doesn't show up that way? What if you go to the dinner and your name is not on the plate at the table? Ooh, what you gonna do now? Now see, you're like, oh my goodness, I, I'm not even, my name got no name card on the table. What you gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go sit in the back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're gonna say, wait a minute, you weren't invited to, that's all right. I'm here though. I mean, if your name got on the table, that's all right. When y'all get finished, I'm gonna pick it up. Yes, Lord. You see, you see, you somebody, but by this time, tomorrow, I hope you get it. Because the Lord God said, it may not have had your name on it, but you got invited to the feast. Come on, yeah. come on, come the Lord on. God said, come I on. Invite, well, how did you have the invitation? Because the Lord is my personal Lord and Savior. That's how I got invited. Right. I had divine connection. I told you, you better get Don't ready for that. Because God kept saying about divine connections in the land. Doesn't matter who it is, but the Lord God said, I'm going to put you in a place, in the right place, at the right time, and mess around. They're at the table, and you're like, I don't see my name card. He's trying to tell you, great faith, you don't need a name card. He said, I got your name all over the Come place. On. Uh, at the table, on the floor, in the bathroom, everywhere. Yes, Lord. Don't matter where your connection. See, so that means I don't have to be sitting at the table to get my blessing. Come on, here. I can get up and somebody can meet me. Yes, <laughs> Lord. Thank you, Lord God. I don't know about you, but some blessing is about to meet you. You better get all of that. Get all of that in the name of Jesus. You're sitting up there waiting for it. Yeah, you know what I said? Some of your blessings just going to meet you. You know why? Because you're in the house. You said, you know what, Lord? I'm believing you, Lord God. I have great faith. And I know that you're going to do something for me, Father. So you know what? I don't see my name. I'm not going to get discouraged. I'm like, yes, but I'm in the party, though. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there though. You can't stop me from coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, I'm saying that in the natural, but spiritually, I'm just bubbling on it. You know, it's like the devil thought he wasn't gonna get you to be at the party. He's gonna thought he's gonna make sure. Oh, they not gonna go. Over. Come on. <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah, I'm in there though. I'm right there. Anything you love. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I yeah. Say uh huh. Yeah. I yeah. I'm right there. And the Lord God said, look at that, great faith, because yet even the crumbs, the Lord God said, the blessing that you're looking for may not show up at the table. Mm. Ooh. Mm. But will your great faith allow you to accept it wherever it shows up? Yes, Talk to me, Holy Ghost. Come on. Yes, 
You see, Lord. that's a that's a great faith right there. Your to Lord. believe that the uh, unusual, the abnormal, yeah. above the norm, whatever's normal. You know, I don't have to be seated there. I don't have to. You know, that's why I'm telling you, some of you are about to get blessed. You're not even going to be there. They're going to tell you, and you're going to go pick it up. I said, come on here. Amen. Yes, 
And you're like, do I know it? No, I don't. You know what? It's so powerful about God. He'll give you a word and seal you unsure about yourself. Yeah. Come on now. Anybody know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah. You'll get a word and you're like, well, wait a minute. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. But Lord God, you gave me a word and I'm still wondering. People are like, well, what God doing? I don't know. Oh. Isn't that something? They're like, well, you just said you had a word. I know. But do you know what you said? I don't know. And the Lord God said, that's exactly what I want you to be right there. Because you're so humble. Because you know that God is up to something. Amen. But he's so great that, you know what, you can't even fathom to put it into yes. work. See, most people think that, how foolish is that? But I've come to crush that demon. That's the perfect place God wants you to be. Because you got to know that you know without a shadow of yes. a doubt that God is doing something in your life. Can I pinpoint it? No. But I know he's going to do something. Yes. And that's all you need to hold on. Don't yes. let somebody try to, you know, argue with you. What is happening? Tell me this. Tell me that. It's not going to work. Babe, it's not gonna work. I'm telling you, I just felt something just falling off of me. Glory be to God. I felt like something just kind of whoop. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm telling you, it was like right there, like they say, you know what? Yeah, she don't believe that, but I'm gonna say, what? Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Glory be to God. Because I know I done failed, but I felt that thing in the spirit. I felt a weight. I'm telling you, I'm sitting yes, here, Lord. and all of a sudden, Yes, I'm Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. I received that because yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that weight's coming off. Yes, because, Lord. you know, I keep hearing that. Yeah. Well, God told you a word, then why haven't you done this? But you know what? I know you up to something. Yes, he is. And that's what I know. Well, what do you know? I, I don't know, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been there? Come on now. I know that that sounds foolish to the world, but if I believe it, who was, who's worth the salt, you're like, yeah, I thought I know exactly what you're talking about. And somebody asked you to explain, I can't explain it. Okay. But I do know God's doing something. Yeah. What is he doing? I can't explain it. <laughs> but then you, you know that what's in here, that you feel that God is up to something. You see, that's, that's where the birthing place of great faith. The birthing place of great faith is that, you know what, it, it God's up to something. And you're believing it. Spiritual, and you just start saying it. You see, I'm trying to get you right there as I'm closing the book. I was telling you that you got to start saying something. Yeah. Both the centurion said, you know, at your word, he said, speak the word and my servant will be healed. He yeah. told the Lord God, I don't need for you to come to my house. Just speak the word. The woman of God, she just said, you know what? She said, Lord God, if you would just help me. And I want you to know she said something. She didn't just sit there and just kind of walk away. She continued and said, yay, Lord. Even the dogs at the table get the crumbs. She could have just went on her way with her head down, but she didn't. And people of God, your miracle is right at the door. Yes. Amen. Your miracle is right at the door. God's talking to you today. He said that your miracle is right there. And the next prayer request, the next prayer request, Lord, have mercy. Come on now. The next prayer request that you're, that you're beginning to petition about, the Lord God says, believe it by getting get some great faith wrapped around. Amen. Put some great Amen. faith wrapped around. Yes. Because, see, the world is telling you you can't do that. You, you're trying to do this at the wrong time of the year. But tell them, you know, it's my comeback season. That's right. Yeah. Comeback season. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, wait a minute. It's my wedding season. Give it all to them. They ask you, load it up. It's my comeback season. It's my wedding season. It's new for you it's in time. Eyes have not seen. Right. Ears have not heard. He does into the heart of man the things that God's about to do. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because of great faith. Great faith. I'm about to sit back and the Lord God, I'm going to walk because I'm going to believe God. I'm going to take God at his word. As I close today, the Lord God is calling for us to stir up great faith. He wants you to get out of the realm of just the Lord. I, I told you that God says, I'm breaking that off of you. You've got to stand in a place in God knowing that whatever, whatever fiber of your being, that God will do exactly what he promised that he's going to do. you got to just know it. Your great faith is that I'm just trusting God. I'm just trusting God. Yeah, I, this message should stir you up. You know, yeah, it should stir up your fire in there. It should stir it up. The things that God promised you. The, the things that God told you about. You're like, even though it tarry, wait for it. Come on now. Yeah. Because God says, start saying it. Uh, we, we've done everything. We, we decreed and declared. Start speaking it out loud. Come on now. What, what, God's going to take care of my family. Yes. Yeah. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, God's yes. taking yeah. care of my family. God's going to heal anything that's possessed, anything that's not going right. You, you thought demon possession was something, but whatever, whoever needs to be delivered in my house, go get delivered. Whoever needs to be healed in my house, go get healed. Whoever needs to be, you know, to prodigals to come back, they're coming. 
Whatever God, he said that all of my children are going to be saved. They're coming in. Oh, yeah. He said that his hand is upon them, that we're going to be blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Well, then I'm being blessed. Everything my hands find to do, that they're going to be blessed. Uh, you know, start decreeing and declaring. Yeah. Start yeah. saying it out loud. You're like, well, why do you keep saying that? Because I'm speaking it into existence. Yeah. I'm setting the atmosphere because the Lord God said, you're great faith. If you start saying what I said, Lord, have blessed in Habakkuk. Come on, people of God. You, you, you need to yeah, get into your word. If you can see what he says. Come on now. Because in Habakkuk 2, he said, you can see. He said, God spoke a word and he said, so that way you can see it. Hey. Come on now. How do you see word? Come on now, in Habakkuk. How can you see word? That means it has to get in. He said, uh, God said a word so you can see it. Yeah, yeah. So if that be the case, he's trying to tell us, so I'm saying your word so you, you can, can see it. it. Come on, yeah, everybody. Right. You're not going to see it. You're like, well, I don't see, I see precious. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I yes, see the signs. I see people are lined up. Yes, Lord. 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 And be able to just enjoy the things of the Lord and not be bothered or hindered by, by anything of the world. Yes, oh, come on. That, that's powerful, right? You know, I think the believers need a spot too. Come on. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes, yes. The believers need a place where they can just kind of sit and study. I'm saying that, and I mean that with all because that's a Lord, that's a God idea. I'm not that smart. I'm telling you right now that that's a God idea. Apparently, see, I'm saying that whatever He want to do with it, this is His place. Amen. And so I can see, but see, I keep talking about it. I keep talking about it. See, I'm trying to just trying to stir up a fire. You want something from God? You've been praying for. What are you talking about? Are you talking your defeat? Are you talking your blessing? Come on, come on, come on. Because if you're not saying something that God's going to do, then you're messing up your whole. You're, you're derailing everything God promised and even gave to you. Why aren't you sitting and saying, you know what? I am truly blessed. I thank the Lord God. Things are working out. I don't know what, but I know that they are. Yeah. The answers are coming. Thank the Lord God. That bill will get paid. Amen. I don't know how it's going to get paid, but I know it's going to get paid. Amen. God's going to work that thing out. I'm going to get that job. Because that's what he told me that he wanted me to be. And I know that that's going to work out for my sons and my daughters. Why? Because the Lord God told me that. I, I, I believe that. I know that when I turn around, that the door is going to open right over there. Yeah, yeah that you can get ready for that moment. Yeah. Huh? That door will open Lord. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Look, I just spoke that right there. Uh, because yeah. it said, great faith. Yes, Lord. Great faith. Because you're like, look, God, I believe in your father. You don't know how, but you know that God's able to do it. Yeah. And the Lord God said, I've already moved somebody. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's come already on. moved an individual. Wow. And it's ready for you <laughs> in the name of Jesus. You see, that's what you call great faith because you start speaking it out. You see, I come, I, I'm closing, but I want you to understand, you know, whenever you're praying, you plead the blood of Jesus over your words. Yes. Come on, come on. I, 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 I make a statement out there, creating the cloud, bind up every ungodly spirit. I, I pray that the enemy is deaf and blind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unable to hear and unable to, unable to, to see. Come on, I make sure of that. You're like, why? Because see, people are like, well, if you keep saying your prayers out loud, the enemy's going to, you know what? I plead the blood of Jesus now. I command the enemy's death and blood. Mm -hmm. I'm praying underneath an open heaven because you're not going to rob me. If God told me to start saying something, there is a time and a season for everything. I'm closing. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. There's a time. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. God told you to start decreeing and declaring, you know, there may have been a season where he said, don't tell nobody. Hold it in. I got that. Obedience. <laughs> But when the Lord God saying, start speaking it out. And you're like, oh Lord, I don't want to speak it out. Something to get my The Lord God said, you start speaking it out. In the name of Jesus, it's mine. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, you said, I'm decreeing it. And it's going to work out. Your will, your will. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Oh, yeah. 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 And the Lord God, I'm going to need that. Yeah. You're going to work it out. You're going to work it out, Father God. I'm going to start speaking it out. And that's where God's calling for us. Come on, stand to your feet. Let's bless the Lord God. We're going to open up this altar for those who are of great faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet in the name of Jesus. We're going to open up this altar for those that are standing in great faith in the name of Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Lord God. Those who are believing God, you can just lift up one hand in the name of Jesus.